If My Anguish Had a Sound by Janice Bissett If my anguish had a sound, it would be the cry of a peacock. You know, that haunting, almost human scream that seems too big a sound for a bird to make. It's a sound that causes the last rays of sun to run from the encroaching darkness and for shadows to crouch in the alleys behind the dumpsters. It is a sound that can make the stones hurt and the trees weep. It can cause the first stars of evening to appear apologetically as if they are sorry to be the bearers of bad news. Evening is coming. When I was growing up, peacocks wandered through Quincy's vineyard and all around the peanut mill not far from my house. The peacocks were beautiful and mysterious, but they cried, such a sad cry. They always cried at twilight. Maybe they cried at other times too, I don't know. If they did, I never heard them. I never heard them. I have a memory of walking home one twilight. This memory is not, it's not, um, this memory does not exist in a linear fashion. I can't say this happened and then that happened and then the next thing happened. I don't remember it that way. Instead, it's like one of those disco mirror balls that spin around and around. And I don't remember how old I was when this happened. All I know is that I still had to abide by the house rule that all kids have to be home before the street lights come on. So I was walking home and because it was twilight, the peacocks were screaming. They screamed like violated children. I glanced through the window of a house I was passing by. A fat lady shoved a piece of bologna into her mouth. I don't think she saw me. I don't think she saw me.
I could see into her house because it was darker outside than inside her kitchen. Her skin was ashen. Her hair was the color of grease. She did not look happy. The ball spins. I see an alley. I'm in the alley. And there are some mean boys saying greasy things to me as they lean out of their car window. There's an alley with some mean boys with greasy hair saying greasy things to me and they lean out the window. The radio is blaring so loud and the noise hurts my ears. I'm fighting mad, furious terrified, spitting gravel mad. The disco mirror ball just spins around and around and around. And I see my face. I see different expressions reflected in the little mirrors. Anger, fear, sadness, despair. Anger, fear, sadness, despair. Anger, fear, sadness, despair. But I can smell honeysuckle. I, I can't see where it's growing. Where is it growing? I can smell honeysuckle. It smells like heaven. But I can't see where it's growing. I can't see where it's growing. Where is it growing? Anger. Fear. Sadness, despair, anger, fear, sadness. Suddenly, I wonder, how has the sky exploded with such beautiful color? If only I could make sense of these colors. It's breathtakingly beautiful. It's so beautiful. The fat lady eats more bologna. I don't think she sees me. Well, I don't know a lot, but I'll tell you what I know.
I know that sometimes a person can be crushed, broken, and torn apart even under the most beautiful sky. Even when the sky is a fan that looks like it's made from peacock feathers, a fan that's purple and cobalt blue, a fan that covers the indifferent eye of the setting sun. And I can tell you that healing is possible. I know this to be true. I know this because I still struggle. I still struggle, especially at twilight. Now, when twilight begins to smudge the sky with lavender, I cringe in spite of myself. And no matter how many times I remind myself that I'm okay, I dread evening, beautiful as it is. So, yeah, I still struggle, but I have more good days than bad. I know that healing is possible because I laugh more than I cry. My days, my life is filled with far more joy than sorrow. Healing is possible. Healing is possible, but only if I listen, only if I respond to the cries of others. Even if my response is nothing more than an echo of my own experience. I listen. I care. And I respond. Thank you for hearing me. I hope you'll find a way to share your story in a way that makes you feel better, that gives you some peace.